All right, ladies and gentlemen, um, I actually just tried to record an episode, and then I thought I knew something, and it turns out I was wrong. Um, against those harpies in the desert, you can steal a striking staff off of them. Um, and it's actually been quite a long time since we got an item for Aerith, so I did steal one of those. Um, I wandered around this peninsula for a bit, thinking that something was there, never did find out what it was, and then remembered that in the last episode I got something and then wasn't able to show it off to you guys, because I'm a retard, because I just deleted the episode off my computer. Tifa game Dolphin Blow! She's now got her next thing, so... Tifa's kind of like a water element character, which I think is... odd? I guess I, I really don't know what to think of it. Like, I mean, Water Kick and Dolphin Blow. But then she's got Meteo Drive. <laughs> but I mean, even Somersault was like a blue backflip, which, um, the very first time I was playing this game, I thought it was the coolest thing ever. And then when I realized that it was on slot reels, I, I didn't like it so much. Um, but we're going to come down here to a fight. And we're in the jungle. The mighty jungle. Oh no! This is bad. Um, crap. I actually have no advice for this besides focus fire the hell out of these things. Alright, so obviously they're frogs. That's what I'm afraid of. Frog song, which is an enemy skill that we need to learn, so thank you, that just saved me some time. But it puts you to sleep and puts you into frog status. 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 Um, the one nice thing is that the frogs are very simple-minded enemies. Um, and you do do a lot less damage. Darn it, Tifa, why are you attacking that one? Um, yeah, the best thing you can do is just focus fire the heck out of these guys. Because all they do is just massive status ailments to you. Darn it, Cloud, why are you attacking that side as well? Now, unfortunately, in frog status, you could not attack yourselves to get out of this status. Um, this is also where White Cape can be great, because you can give it to somebody like Red 13 with um, enemy skill. Nice, there we go, everybody's landed. Thank you, frogs. Now, I know the frogs will target those who are awake with Frog Song. And yes, just like, you know, sometimes we can multi target, you know, the same enemy. I think we can target something both with, like, you know, nice cloud. Yes, get off that kill. Um, now, Frog is not a permanent condition, it's just an annoying thing because they do this. Thanks a lot. And now we just have to wait for everybody to wake up before we can start attacking again. And this is all they do, they just keep putting you into perpetual frog songs. And this is their ultimate combo setup, is that they put you to sleep. And when there's six of them, um, I've actually been killed by them once before. Because it was so much damage, it was so much back damage to me, and my characters had like too much material on them, which is not properly suited. Every time I went for a cure spell, one of the frogs would run up and hit me, stopping my cure spell, or stopping my, like, my white wind. And right now you can see I'm only doing 59 damage per thing. And these things don't have a lot of health, but they do have like 400. I think. They have enough. But there you go, you got victory frog dance. They jump up twice and then do a backflip. And we did get a maintenance kiss from that, so not completely worthless. But, oh my gosh, just one of the most annoying battles ever. So here is actually Gungaga. Is someone there? Hey, Root, who do you like? I have no idea what voice I gave to Reno ever. What are you getting so embarrassed about, man? Come on, who do you like? Tifa. Mm. That's a tough one. But poor Lena, she... you... No, she likes Sang. What? I never knew that. But Sang likes that ancient. What are they talking about? It's so stupid. They always talk about who they like or they don't like. But Sang is different. Uh, uh, oh no! 
They're here! They're really here! Hmm, then it's time. Rude, don't go easy on them, even if they are girls. Don't worry, I'll do my job. Then we're counting on you. I'll report to Sang. It's been a while. Payback time for what you did to me at, or did in Sector 7. Out of our way. I don't like being taken a fool. That's as far as you go. So, now we get to fight both Reno and Rue, his partner. Um, now I don't believe you can steal anything. And I'll just switch this around. Guard, how's that with his health? That was terrible. I wasn't paying attention, could I steal anything from him? Oh, the guard will give us the defenses. Yeah, way to go to fire with 13. Just absorbs it like a bounce! <laughs> um, now, I could make a really big joke out of these guys by, um... Using, like, Aqua Lung, which just wrecks them. If I can. Alright, 1500. Okay, I thought they were a lot weaker than that. I thought they only had like a thousand life here. But yeah, Rude is the physical attacker. Um, he's gonna do quite a bit of damage to you. Reno is the spellcaster. Oh, what? I didn't know that you had a cure. And this is where having somebody with high HP can be awesome because, like I said, if they're not taking a lot of damage, 211. Yep, perfect. We may be retreating, but we're still victorious! <laughs> oh, what? He, he, had, he had health left! What? What? No. Do I not get credit for killing him then? No, I wasn't aware of this. Stardust Rock! What? Wait, what? He just learned Blood Fang. I've used it like four times, and he learned Stardust Ray? And then we get Fairy Tail, which is a weapon for Aerith. Hey, something seems wrong. Like, they knew we were coming. They followed us, but there weren't any signs of it. Then, that means... Someone's been informing them. I don't even want to think that there are spies. There's a spy. Trust everyone. Alright, well, let's go f mess with Elena and Sang, because we just made a joke out of the two of them. And evidently now we have to worry about a spy. Um, also guys, I want to show you one of the most ridiculous enemies in the game ever. Ah, uh, you can't make this up. It's a dinosaur with wheels, and it's Final Fantasy Uh, I don't... I don't think I need to say anything. Um, I do remember these things do have a decent amount of health, so they're not really an enemy that you take lightly. Um, stealing from them is not very worthwhile, but remember this dino, this heavy tank for later. Um, charge, big spiral. Ooh, that does nice damage. I like that. How much did I win? One more and 
crap. Once again, my character was sense. Attack. Oh, and then Stardust Ray. Perfect. I forgot about it. Sweet. Alright, Stardust Ray is... This is where the game gets real, guys. So, Barrett got, got his grenade bomb. Here's for 13s! <laughs> so, it drips Stardusts on top of your enemy. And each one does about, like, enough of an auto-attack and does some pretty severe damage um, against bosses. That thing rips through bosses. Like, it's... I think it's like 12 hits or something like that. It's completely worthwhile. So we come back here. Um, enemies? I don't think there's anything enemy-oriented. Besides you again. And I don't think I'm going to bother with whatever the last time. I will steal from him though. I don't remember what I even stole. He's not gonna live long now. Oh, Phoenix down. Okay, so it was worth it. Goodbye. I love that. Into the into the stomach of the What? No way. Holy crap, you have a lot of HP. I was just messing around with you. How much HP do you have? Oh, uh, because somebody's in the back line. Yep, someone's in the back line. Always be forgetting about the back line. Um, and Earth gets a level up. Awesome, so Materia is still growing very quickly. Although, a ruined reactor. Man, I had to take one step, that's it. That's all I had to do. No, it's the horror inside. It's Scarlet, head of general weapon weapon development. Now, the first time I was playing this, I thought that was materia, and spent like an hour and a half trying to get up there to get it. <laughs> oh, this isn't any good either. You only get junky materia from junky reactors. This reactor is a failure. What I'm looking for is big, large, huge materia. Have you seen any? No, I haven't gotten to see I haven't seen it. Or, I haven't seen it. I'll get on it right now. Please! We can make the ultimate weapon if only we had some. I just can't. With Hoyo gone, the weapon development has been getting bigger and budget. I... But even if we make the perfect weapon, could that stupid he digger even use it? Oh, sorry, I forgot he digger was your boss. <laughs> Let's go. Big, large, huge material. Ultimate weapon? Perfect weapon? Just what are the Shinra up to? Now, I'm also an idiot and never clued in to a giant frickin' hit they just put there. And this is the first time I've ever paid attention to that conversation. There's something shiny back in there. Reach for it, and you get Titan material, which we have not shown before. Oh, can we share something else if we just got it? So goodbye, Ramu, and hello, Titan. Um, as far as this Let's Play goes, um, I'm not gonna be showing... Uh, maybe I'll show off certain clips, I don't know. There's something to show off and it takes forever, like a lot of grinding. Maybe I just won't show all the grinding for it. Maybe I'll just do it. You guys will have to take my good word paid for it. That makes sense. So Alright, you were supposed to take that attack, that would be beautiful. But I love White Wind, if you either have it on somebody who has high health or half health, you know, you're guaranteed to get everybody back to full health. I love it! It's so great! 
But so now that Hojo is still gone, you know, he ended his re record of resignation. We met him on the beach. Um, nobody really knows what he, where he is or what he's doing. Um, evidently the weapons department is getting bigger budget. They're talking about bigger material. Oh yeah, so here's the frog I was looking for. Still in the back is the pillar. So that is the perfect frog if you want to learn frog song off of. Manipulate him and then just uh, have him Kurt cast frog song on the people you want to learn it. Um, the frogs really shouldn't kill you. Um, it's just in case. Uh, there's some pretty interesting enemies in this area as well. Um, I don't think you can steal anything off of them. Ooh, death blow. Death blow is a lot of fun. Um, it is a materia, and... No! No, why are you doing this? No! Guys, I need to end the ep episode because my frame rate... Uh, it leveled back out. Alright, we'll let it go for now. But I might have to uh, switch it off. We'll give it to Tifa for now, although Tifa's probably not the best person to be having it. Um, I can't give it to Red 13 because he has Fury on him right now. And if I try to do it with Fury, it's going to just miss non-stop. Um, but Death Blow has a 50-50 chance of hitting its target. But if it hits its target, it does a critical strike every time. Okay, you were worthless to talk with. Three years ago when the reactor exploded, my husband... Um... There's that reactor we just went and visited. A ruined reactor. Let's go in the weapon shop. Clearly labeled. Huh? D did you want something? Hear a story? People can live without the Shinra's Baker reactors. Okay. Um, actually, I forgot about this shop. So, yeah, if you want stuff to stop status ailments... Oh, no, I didn't forget about the shop. Okay. Okay, this is exactly where I thought it was. Um, but you can get some new material here. You get Mystify, Time, which is the first chance for you to get Haste. Um, Heal we already have, and Transform we already have. But Mystify is Confusion, and then if you upgrade it, it becomes Berserk. Um, but, so we won't get a chance to really equip it anytime soon. But... Climb up the pole! That's right, Cloud is a pole dancer, and if you come up here... Huh, you want something? Shouldn't have built the reactor without even thinking about the town's safety. And this is the result. I will buy stuff from you guys, I'm really sorry to hear this. Um, so here is where you can buy any of the items that we've already stolen so far. She just wanted to put it into a frog. Why is it called an impaler? Um, shrivel? See, that makes sense. Molotov makes sense. I'm so sorry, dude. You have nothing I want, though. Um. Oh, I feel so bad now. Final Fantasy VII Crisis Core actually does explain what happens at Gangaga. Um, again, if I find out what I did with my game and my PS3, my PSP, and how to hook it up. <gasps> Treasure chest! Exposition. Huh? Read something? It's been a while since the explosion, but you can still find pieces of it left all over the town. It's so weird, that's lagging so bad, but when I'm looking over, it's actually kind of keeping in rhythm. Nothing terrible's happening. Sweet, stealing from old men. White megaphone, which is the first chance for us to get something for Kate Sith, and nowhere else to go, so talk to the old man. This is Gengaku Village. Many people died here in the Maker Reactor explosion. The Shinra people told us that everyone would be happy once the reactor was built, but all it brought us was sadness. Alright, that is terrible. I don't think this is what I need. I'm so mad that this is like lag. Okay, good. This is not the. 
Oh, you're here to shop? Um, actually, I'd like to hear a story. Shinra built the reactor without even thinking about the town's safety, and this is the result. That old guy just told us that. You cheapskate. Um, but if you don't have Maiden's Kisses, you can get these now. Um, Quercopia to stop the small. Um, soft hypers. Soft actually might not be a bad thing to stock up on. We're kind of fine at the moment. I'm so upset that this is lagging. Um, and here's the last place to go into. I will be doing a bonus episode with this as well. Um, so, I'm not sure if I'm putting bonus episodes yet here. Like, you know, like, in place of what, like, you know, what I'm currently doing, putting it afterwards to get the story plot across. Or if I'm going to put them in their own thing after I'm done the Final Fantasy VII series and putting them at the end, like, as a blooper or, like, extra info thing. Oh, you a traveler? Hey, wait, that glare in your eye. You and soldier? Oh, you're right. Don't you know anything about our son? His name is Zack. It's been close to ten years since he left for the city, saying he didn't want to live in the country. He, he left, saying he's going to join Soldier. You ever hear of a, of a Zack and Soldier? Hmm, I don't know. Zack. Y young lady, do you know him? Uh, I remember he wrote to us six or seven years ago, saying that he had a girlfriend. Could that have been you? Tifa? Uh, no, it, it wasn't. C excuse me. And she just. P Tifa, what happened? H have you ever met somebody in Soldier named Zack? I can't believe he hasn't contacted us in ten years. After all, we're his parents. Tifa, what the. What was that about? Zack. Do you know him? N no, I, I don't know him. Your face tells me differently. I told you I don't! Alright. That sounds just like you, saying you're leaving town. I'm joining Soldier. There were a lot of guys like that back then. It must have been really something to make it in Soldier out of the group like that. I really respect you. Um, crap, I don't know if you're supposed to be humble or I worked hard for it. Um, I just got lucky. Don't be so humble. Cloud, thanks for caring. Alright, either way, I guess that was kind of a bonus. Um, guys, I'm gonna end that episode here from that little skip because my, um, camera is running quite behind now. It's actually running good. Usually it's like three or four seconds behind. It's running a full like five seconds behind right now. So guys, tune in next time as we fight a very uninteresting enemy. Frog Jam. One damage. We'll never kill us with that. Um, guys, thanks so much for watching. Take care. And uh, be prepared for double videos because I'm definitely going to start that literally right now. That's all. And unfortunately, by the time you see this episode, what I just said is not going to make any sense. It's going to be long since happened. Because I need to clear out space on my computer. My computer is getting overtaxed with how many episodes I've recorded. So guys, thanks for watching, and thank you again so much for watching. Ta-ta! By the way, one of you is very, very good looking today. Guess which one?